Hello everyone, this is Mayat Marie. In today's video, I will be sharing with you one of my new loves, the cacao. And I will discuss with you the different types of cacao, how it called my name, um, the benefits of cacao. So let's start with cacao. Cacao is the seed form, it's the pre-processed seed that makes chocolate. So the cacao is in its rawest form. There's two different types of cacaos here, which what I am working with, which I have been working with, is the ceremonial cacao. And it's more of an unprocessed form of the cacao. You may heard of the cacao, which is used for culinary uh, recipes. You can use it in your smoothies, uh, in making dishes. And it is very high nutrients. Here it's 20% iron, 11% fiber. So let's begin on how I got started with the cacao. Well, there is a goddess. Yes, there is a chocolate goddess. And her name is Ixchel. That's I-X-C-H-E-L. And Ixchel is a Mayan goddess of the moon. She carries a snake coming from her forehead to signify that she is the goddess of medicine and intuitive knowledge. Now, the Aztecs were the first to discover the uh, cacao. So for the cacao, it was originally for foods of the gods. So you had to be of an elite um, category to even consume the cacao. Now the cacao, one of the main benefits is it is a heart opener, hence the rose quartz. Now I have very prophetic dreams. If you've been following this channel, you know that that is the case with me. And that's how I get a lot of my messages from spirit. So one of my dreams, I was dreaming there was this whisper and the whisper was just saying cacao, 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 cacao. Like, and when spirit speaks to me, it constantly repeats it and drills it in my mind. So I have to wake up out of my sleep and write down or research what is being revealed to me. And I later upon my research realized that voice was the voice of Ixchel, the Mayan goddess of the moon. She was calling me to work with cacao. And when I initially got the message, I went to the, on the internet. I have seen cacao because I've seen it in some of the health circles on the benefits of it. So I thought, okay, maybe this is a sign from spirit. I need more iron or fiber because in the past, sometimes my iron would get low. So I said, okay, I'll make that into, you know, my daily regimen. But upon research, I was looking for a sound bath to attend for the new year. And there was a sound bath that I discovered, but it had a cacao ceremony with the sound bath. So I'm like, hmm, there goes that cacao again. Pay attention to synchronicity. So I went to that ceremony. It was like a lightweight ceremony, but then I started researching cacao ceremony. And there was actually cacao ceremonies all over the world in a lot of the Mayan cities, ancients used it. And it is again used for heart opener. And I have been working on my heart chakra for some time trying to open uh, my heart. So some of the other benefits of drinking cacao is, cacao is a uh, stress reliever. So it really helps with lowering the blood pressure. It has tons of antioxidants in it. So that is going to give you strength, especially in the times we're enduring right now. You need to get as many um, antioxidants in your system as you possibly can. So I have replaced this. When I don't drink tea instead of coffee, when I want something a little thicker and a little denser, I'll go to my cacao. It has an increased energy effect, but it's not jarring like caffeine and it doesn't make me nervous. There's no crash behind it. So the cacao has become one of my morning drinks. Now you can, pick, compare, you can prepare it with water 
And just the cacao, I just shave a little bit off at a time. It shaves really easily. I'm not sure if you can see here, but how it just kind of crumbles off. And then I add that. You can add it to water, but I like to make mine in more of a latte form. So I will add mine with uh, oat milk because oat milk is very rich and thick. And I'll put a little bit of that in my morning drink. Some people put paprika in it because that will stimulate it and rush it through the blood system a little quicker. I personally don't enjoy it that way. You can also add cinnamon. I add cinnamon in mine also. Again, it's another way to help lower the blood pressure and cinnamon has a lot of antioxidants in it as well. And that tastes really good. Another popular way of uh, drinking it, adding it with the pink Himalayan salt, sea salt. And I don't even put mine in a grinder. I just take a few big bits of the pink Himalayan salt and I just drop it in. So Himalayan salt have great benefits of itself. It is a, it balances the electrolytes in your system and it is a nutrient absorbent, which I didn't know that. So by adding a few drops of the pink Himalayan salt, sea salt, it allows the antioxidant and the fiber and the iron to absorb more readily into the body. And it also is rich in um, trace minerals. And I always use pink Himalayan salt to uh, work with. You can take baths in it. You can, I flavor everything. I use this salt in place of a sea salt now. So these are just a few ways you can try the cacao and it is absolutely delicious. And I'm happy that I was called to work with it. So if you wanna work with it, do further research or pick up yourself some cacao if you're not ready for the ceremonial cacao, which I purchased this that was um, made in uh, Guatemala. So I wanted something that was from the native of the land. So check online sources to look for reputable sources for that. Or you can get a more co a commercial cacao if you wanna enjoy, enjoy it as a nutrient rich drink. So thanks again for coming back to Create, Share, and Give. And until then, peace.